This Thursday, restaurants from all around Tampa Bay are going to come together to support Epic. Joining us today is Brittany Fredericks, Epic Senior Case Manager. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. It's good to have you. you here. So tell us a little bit about Epic. Yeah, Epic is a community-based organization in Tampa Bay, and really what we seek to do is get make sure that people who have HIV AIDS are in medical care and retain medical care. So we look at things holistically, and we have a lot of wraparound services such as housing, financial assistance, social support, mental health counseling, um, our testing and prevention programs, mm -hmm. and we really do want everybody to succeed, our clients to succeed in, in retaining medical care. Why are those services so important to have available to the community and to make sure that they're being used? Yeah, so it's wonderful in the sense that we can make, like the medications that we have right now around HIV have changed and mm -hmm drastically yeah. over the years. So if we can eliminate any barriers for people getting on those medications and being healthy, that's really what we're here to do. Wonderful. And there's a way that everybody can join in and support. Dining Out for Life is coming up. Tell us a little bit about the event. Yeah, Dining Out for Life is a, na a national event that we have been able to partner um, with into the Tampa Bay area. This is our 19th year. And it's basically where restaurants from around Tampa Bay, um, like, allow, you know, we could get to go to them mm -hmm. and they allow um, us to support our local community by by um, dining out a portion of the proceeds are going to services in Tampa Bay. Which is wonderful. So that's how the community can get involved. Yes. They can find out the restaurants and then they dine out that day and right. they can help out. And you can do takeout as well. You don't have oh, to wonderful. go to the restaurant. And so we can find those restaurants. There's a website that we can find. Yeah, it's dinetb.org. And you can and see that list. See it's there on the bottom list. of your screen. Yeah, yeah, you can check out the list and then you can go and participate. That's wonderful that then those proceeds go back to you and I'm sure that's a huge help. Right. It yeah. totally is. And it goes direct into client services. So you can be you can feel good about what you're supporting. Yeah, support your community. Mm -hmm. Brittany, thank you so much for coming by and spending some time and talking about this event with us. Yeah, that's thanks fantastic. for having me. And you know what? Natalie's in the kitchen right now because we have one of the restaurants with us today that's participating. Yes, we do. Allison, can you smell the basil and smell the pizza? <laughs> I am hooked already. And I am so happy to welcome in Tommy and Larissa Luciano from Tommy's Hideaway Wood Fired Pizza and Pub. Yes, please. How are you guys? <laughs> Great. Thanks for you. you know what, of course, we just heard the conversation and how the money raised on this very important day goes back to benefit those who, you know, need it most, whose health is so important. Why do you want to be involved, though, and be able to give 25% of your proceeds from that day? So last year, we actually just opened up and we missed out. And this year, we are so grateful to be part of that because we want to embrace our community the way they embrace us. And Gulfport is... They're amazing, like they yeah. accepted us and took us in and we want to give back. And, you know. I love hearing that. Yeah. I love hearing that. You're agreeing yeah. too. Yeah, Gulfport's just a special place. And yeah. I think if anyone's ever been there, it's just a, a place that makes you feel warm. And so when we opened up a restaurant there, they just embraced us. And so we want to always give back and be a part of uh, what they're doing there. So it's great. This is a great event. And uh, speaking of, you got some great pizzas yeah. here. So. Introduce us, because we're going to be topping off some pizzas while we're here and also some cheesy garlic bread. Yeah, yeah. so, you know, our vision, uh, Larissa and I, when we were um, traveling Italy, we fell in love with, you know, the essence of how they made pies. Yes. And so when we decided to open up a restaurant we wanted something with just really fresh ingredients okay so um on nana luciano it's her homemade recipes oh, for meatballs yeah. so, I love so this is one of our favorite ones it okay. has meatballs regatta um and it has uh, mozzarella cheese now our oven cooks at about 800 degrees so we use a low moisture mozzarella so it takes a little bit of time so what we were going to do is just kind of top these Please. and just kind of show Which, you and right? by the way these are all different cheeses aren't they Tom? yeah so when you talk about about, and when you're in Italy, right, you talk about some of the I want to be in Italy. They, yeah. Make me feel like I'm there, Tommy. So we got uh, a low moisture mozzarella. The reason it's low moisture is so it can cook in those high temps and it, it won't burn the, the cheese. Then you got um, a shredded mozzarella, where you see typically um, in most pizzerias, um, that gives you that kind of melt and that stringy okay. cheese. And then you got our regatta and then our homemade mm. uh, well, You sauce. know what? We've only got less than a minute. Let's yeah. start topping. I want to see that it. basil go on so, there yeah. real quick. Absolutely. Us, we'll put a little bit of basil on this just to top it off. Then we'd top it off with a little Parmesan cheese around the sides. Nice. And then you finish it off with a little Italian olive oil. Oh. 
and then you'd cut it. So. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here, you yeah. guys. I am digging this. Okay, yeah. we are officially now out of time. You got Lisa, it. Tommy, I'm so glad I got introduced Thank to the you. hideaway. Thank you guys Thank for you. being with us. Thanks. We're sharing the information so you can dine out for life. It's all happening April 18th, everybody. And there's the website one more time. And you know what? This has a